Dale, the tape for this featherweight championship is brought to you by Celsius. Maurice Pacheco, 29 years of age. Marina Malknakina is 35. Most of these women, five feet, six inches tall. Reach advantage on the arms goes to Larissa Pacheco. The opposite is true on the legs with Marina Malknakina seeing that measurement in her favor. All right, keys to victory here for Pacheco. She's got to be on point with her takedown defense, has to establish her boxing range and land those striking combinations, not just try to force one big shot. And for Malknakina, she has to feint her way in to try to hit those takedowns have that forward pressure, see if she can back up Pacheco and stay composed if she finds herself in trouble in this fight. Andy Shepard, the voice of our Smart Cave. Ladies and gentlemen, the following is a seven-figure fight. Five rounds of action for the PFL Women's Featherweight Championship. Introducing first, fighting. Out of the blue corner, she is a sambo specialist and stands five feet six inches tall. She weighed in officially at 144 and one half pounds and holds a record of 11 wins and three losses. Fighting out of Las Vegas, Nevada, Marina Moknatskina. And her opponent fighting out of the red corner. She's a jiu-jitsu specialist and stands five feet six inches tall. She weighed in officially at 145 pounds. In 26 fights, she has earned a record of 22 victories and four defeats. 19 wins coming by way of stoppage. Fighting out of Maratuba, Brazil. She is the 2022 PFL Women's Lightweight Champion, Larissa Pacheco! Your referee in charge, Kevin Mulhall. Larissa Pacheco there in the purple trunks. Marina Moknakina will be in the gray. Pacheco, a fast starter to say the least. You ready? Fight! Touch of the gloves. Potentially five five minute rounds. As this fight opens, Pacheco a minus 1450 favorite. Biggest favorite on the card tonight. And Jake Paul stops by. Oh! As Larissa lands a right hand. Jake Paul, hardest hitting woman in the world right in front of you. Welcome to the show. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah, let's see what Larissa can do if she can keep up that streak here in the first round. See, look at that. Woo! Keep firing. <laughs> As she always does, we see the hooks and the straight rights from Larissa Pacheco. Have you been impressed with your boxing when you've seen it previously? Yeah, you know, she, she has that, that striking, that, that uh, boxing skill that she brought over to MMA. So, ooh, see good head movement. Oh, good there's the high kick attempt as well. Kick. She's looking good, and she, she stuffed Marina's takedown there very early on. So smart to keep her standing in the first round. Marina needs to shoot here. Because Larissa's at that dog. At that dog. Oh, and the oh, forward picture yeah. from Larissa. Oh my goodness. She's Overhand taking, right and the left hook. She's taking some big shots, but she stayed composed. She kept the feet moving. Well, we've seen Marina Malgankina. She's got a great chin. And she will continue to press even when exhausted. Another right hand from Larissa Pacheco. Swung wild on the follow -up. Yeah, Larissa continues to set up that right hand and is landing it repeatedly. Just hit the top of the head of Marina there. Marina biting down and swinging back. Not necessarily the exchanges you want to get in, but she's game. She is, but like a lot of ladies who have fought Larissa Pacheco, when they get hit, it's like they are so surprised by the amount of power that Pacheco can create in the smart cage. Now Marina in on a graphic exchange, but again, Larissa Pacheco, you're not safe in grappling with her. She is also an excellent jujitsu specialist. She's got eight submissions to her record. 
11 knockouts. Let's go, let's make something happen. Jake Paul, we talk about her, Larissa Pacheco being a real complete mixed martial artist. It's only recently she, that she Trying discovered to stand that crazy oh, power. She's got it in the tight. Stand guillotine. Hits looks, her in. Will she finish? It looks, it looks locked in. Haven't seen that since Lyoto Machida and John Jones. That's that Brazilian Jiu Jitsu right there. Oh. Shout out Rio. Shaco using that choke. Oh, nice roll into that knee bar. Here's a knee bar attempt. Oh, she's, she's got it tight. Got she's got it. Oh, 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 she's got it tight. Rolling for wow. this attempt. She's got to turn. She's got to turn away there. She's turning to the right to the right angle now. Just needs to turn her heel. She's just slipped that heel. Oh boy. Oh boy. What an attack by Marina wow. Magnakina. Incredible development here in this featherweight world championship. Oh. Marina Magnakina. Breaking on the leg! Wow, how is she not finishing that? She's got it now she's got to, she's got to turn her knee away from her. Try to get her toes to face away from Marina Maknakina. It's not gonna be enough to just keep pushing that arm away. She can reattack again and again. Beautiful leg attack by Maknakina. She's trying to kick those hands off and roll her way out of it. Very, very tight knee bar. Now there she's out. Now she turned her toes away from her. She's going to be out of this now. That was close. Larissa Pacheco nearly caught with that knee bar. Legs still not completely out of Marina Maknakina's control. And now she's escaped. And goes right back to her. Oh, 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 and now she's angry. That's yep, the problem. Yep. <laughs> you don't poke the bear now. Yeah. Larissa said it would be inside of one round. She's got 30 seconds to make good on that prediction. Jake, does she do it? Oh! Oh, oh my gosh, my goodness. Marina she's Eating catching, these punches. She's catching a bunch of those. Wow. Hammer wow. fist now from the top position. Pacheco is relentless with these strikes. She hooked on her shorts. Yep. A referee doesn't toes. see it. A referee doesn't see it. Now he does. Final few seconds of the round, and Marina Mofnakina will survive the first frame. And it was the ground and pound from Larissa Pacheco. Here's round number two. 145 pound women's world championship here in the PFL. Potentially a matchup with the best women in Bellator. And of course, $1 million on the line. Jake likes this fight so much, he's gloving up. Get ready. I'm fired up. <laughs> I'm fired up. Put me in, coach. Hey, I don't, I don't know if it's going to make it out of this round. Marina looks tired in the corner there, breathing it hard. So I think Larissa could step on the gas here, put some pressure, walk her down, and just let the hands go. I think she could end it. Good entry here from Marina, head outside, trip and down. Grace able to get back to her feet, nice scramble there. And nice knee, knee. Right to this midsection. Knee to the body, that landed there. Very nice shot by Mathakana in a second effort to get her down. Forcing Pacheco to scramble. I mean, Marina's a good grappler, I mean, went the distance with Kayla. And Jake, you mentioned the fatigue setting in for Marina Magnakina. One thing about Larissa's explosive style, it take it drains that gas tank. If Marina can push her into deeper waters, how much does this fight change? Yeah, it looks like they're both kind of taking some time to breathe. And if Marina can clean up those shots and get her energy together and keep the fight off the off the feet, then she has a better chance of winning here, obviously. So they look like they're both kind of slowing this pace down. They really both went for it in the first round and both defending the knee bar and trying to hold it in took a lot of energy from both ladies. Big news this week, Jake Paul. Bellator purchased by the PFL. You're one of the PFL's great partners. How excited are you about that news? Huge, huge. You know, we, we have so much momentum going for us right now. and. It, and Momentum is one of the most powerful forces in the world. So 
you know, big, big things are happening, big things to come, and it's just very, very exciting. And even now, the champions being able to face off against each other is absolutely huge. Ooh, nice right hand there. there. Yeah, she ducked into it. Uh, we saw you kitted up with the 205-pound uh, fight kit. Is that a preview of things to come, Jake Paul? Look, I'm ready to go. I'm ready to go. I got, I got my gloves on and everything. I, I want an MMA fight. I'm not just, you know, I'm not just talking about it. I'm ready. So it could be a preview of something to come. But a lot of people are ducking me. You know, we, we tried to get Nate Diaz, but he didn't want all that, all that smoke. He's making up excuses. Exchanging nice right hands here. And now Larissa. And the ref needs to get out the way. Right. Oh, wow. Changing the takedown from Mokhnatkina. Beautiful time. Beautiful double leg. Kyle Larissa coming forward a little harder. Level changed and finished the beautiful double. Yeah, excellent level change in timing there by, by Marino. Let's see if she could posture up try to separate, maybe attack the leg yet again. Larissa looking for an angle on an arm lock. It's worth noting that we saw Larissa Pacheco against Kayla Harrison, even winning rounds off her back after being taken down. She was very aggressive in yep. that fight, throwing up submission attempts, even striking from her back. Haven't seen that yet here in the second round of this 145 pound championship. Marina Maknotkina finding some success, at least with the takedown. Can she create meaningful offense? The referee needs to see more and stands them up. It looks like the right ear of Marina is bleeding there. Might be from a cauliflower explosion there. Blood running down the face of Marina Maknotkina, the Russian. Now living and training in Las Vegas at Syndicate. Much more measured approach by Larissa Pacheco in this round. Larissa is starting to force a little bit. She's not fainting her way in, and Marina is starting to time her with her right hand. Exactly right. She's caught her with two of those. Seems like maybe Marina hasn't quite yet earned the respect of the striking. But the grappling certainly is. Pacheco is forced to address yet another takedown attempt. You know, it's an interesting fight, this, the way that it's playing out, because for me, Moknakina was intimidated in the opening seconds of this fight, and that gave Larissa Pacheco a lot of confidence. If you see her when she gets back to her stall at the end of the first round, she was taking some deep breaths, and she's now got the respect, she's now got to, a lot of respect for Moknakina's stay in power and ability to recover, even if she is on the back foot. Now Pacheco's starting to really take this fight a lot more seriously, and Moknakina's starting to grow in confidence a little bit. High stakes here for both of these women. One million dollars and a belt on the line. Monakina spins away into some trouble and then out of it. And even that small accomplishment, Randy, you don't get Larissa Pacheco moving backward very often, but Monakina was able to do so there. Larissa's got to be careful she doesn't charge into another double leg. Been a lot of forward pressure on Morena. Trying to get a read on a knee there, Larissa Pacheco anticipating another shot attempt from Marina. I don't think we've seen anybody make it out of the certainly the second round with Larissa Pacheco in two years. Oh, oh! That's what Marina needs to do. She needs to continue moving. Can't get caught in the pocket trading with someone like Pacheco. A couple of right hands from Pacheco, though. What a chin. What heart from Maknakina. Like to see Maknakina. Little level change like she's going to shoot again and then throw that right hand. Watch your fingers. Pacheco coming up on 100 strikes landed in this fight. And you can see a very high percentage as well. Oh, almost timed that knee. Yeah, that seemed to hit her in the ribs or in the chest there. That was a hard knee. Could have been worse. Could have landed right in the face. There's another hard right hand. 
for what it's worth, the odds have swung very slightly back towards Marina Magnakina. She's still a big underdog here, but not as big as the gap was when this fight opened. Jake Paul, one thing that can really frustrate a pressure fighter like Larissa Pacheco is Guillotine. running. Guillotine attempt. Nice drop Ooh. to get her out of it. Saw a little wobble oh, from Magnakina in that last exchange. Yeah, yeah, Larissa needed to step over to her left and cut off the other side to make Marina go to her weak side, which then also put her into the right hand. So Larissa just needed to step over. I don't know if her team is telling her that, but she's just pressuring from the right side, which wasn't very effective. Full mount there. here. Marisa working to pass this guard. Yeah. Now Full into mount, the mount position. And Pacheco is going to unleash a barrage from here once she lets go of those arms and postures up. Marina's going to have to try to shrimp up, get out of there with the quickness. Pacheco's got to clear her head. She's got a minute and 30 seconds now to go to work from the full mount. Nice high mount. Fence yeah. is a friend here. She can pick her shots. To go to the right hand. Might be in big trouble right here. And now she's got Marina Maknakina flattened out, but Maknakina builds the base. No quit in Marina Maknakina, even in the face of serious adversity. A lot of power on everything that Larissa Pacheco throws. a much tougher position for Larissa to land meaningful ground and pound. Now she's trying to get that face crank a little bit. Good hand fighting, but not gonna. Goes in the two on one to keep control of Larissa's right hand so she can't build that anchor and squeeze. I mean, just taking this fight into the championship rounds is, is a huge moral victory against someone like Pacheco with her firepower. And Marina said, there's a lot of people out there that are underestimating me. She was absolutely right. Frank! Marina Mognakina trying to solve the puzzle that is Larissa Pacheco, who seeks a championship in a second weight class. She won it at 155 pounds last year, going for the 145 pound strap. She'd be the first PFL fighter to do so. Well, I'm not going to back on her bicycle. And it can be so frustrating for a pressure fighter like Larissa Pacheco to feel she's having to chase even any contact, even any engagement. Another nasty right hand. And she is able to freeze Marina Mock in his feet. Marisa being way more patient now, showing more feints. Nice little shot there from Marina, though. I think she understands now how strong the chin of Marina Magnakina is, how seriously she has to take the grappling. Nice toss there, but Magnakina rolls all the way through. Triangle attempt. Dan Hardy. She's got it locked. Can she finish it? She's got to get the angle. This is about the closest she's been to finishing this fight so far on the ground, of course. It's a beautiful triangle setup, but Moknakina must have been in this position a thousand times. I mean, you know, Larissa Pacheco is dominating the space, and she's doing a really good job of that, but Moknakina is making it very oh. difficult for her, and every time she tangles with the legs, this is Marina's world. She is a very, very good leg lock specialist, and Pacheco cannot relax in these positions. 
Yeah, and her footlock is even better than her knee bar, so this could spell trouble for Pacheco. Marina still very dangerous, now switching to a heel hook. Her knee is out, so there's no pressure on the knee at this standpoint. She can turn around and start to pound away with her left hand. She goes too far, she's gonna put that leg right back <laughs> into danger. Now bails out to her butt. Yeah, the knee is still out. There's not gonna be enough pressure on that knee at this standpoint. Yes, Marina, Marina can switch to a cap slicer. Now it's too late. Jake Paul joining us again here. Two minutes left in round number four. The pace has slowed some. Either of these women gonna be able to pull off the finish. Yeah, Marina was close there. They were, they were playing Twister out there for real, all tied up and everything, but I, I don't know. Like, we're gonna see who wants it more in these championship rounds. A million dollars on the line, and this is where that heart comes out. Ooh, good, good exchanges there, but... Um, this is where the, the heart comes out, like I said, and we'll see you once and more. Nice right hand. Take down attempt again. Well, not gonna, trying to stay heavy on this leg, but good sprawl counter wrestling here from Larissa Pacheco. Marina is a gangster. I mean, she is so tough. She has dealt with a lot of shots, had some ex a lot of very tough exchanges on the feet, on the ground. She has found a way to survive and still stay in this fight. Saw a little wobble there, but I think it was more from fatigue than yeah. it was from actually getting hit. Even though it was a hard punch. Yeah, it definitely looked like the fatigue wobble. Tough to hit a moving target, and she does not stop moving. Jaco stalks in, and Machnakina chases her back out with a combination attempt. Final few seconds of this fourth round, and to the final frame we go. Well, Knakina in the gray and Pacheco in the purple for one last round. Dan Hardy, it's been Larissa Pacheco mounting most of the offense. Yeah, I mean, you know, she, she's pretty much dominating this fight. We've had some really good moments from Moknakina. She's able to threaten when it hits the floor and chase a few submissions, etc. And I think, you know, she's generally surprised Pacheco all the way through this fight. Certainly Larissa wasn't expecting to be here in the fifth round trying to fight off a takedown here from Maknakina, who looked pretty much broken in the first round to me, but has maintained her composure and her confidence throughout, in spite of the fact being pushed around. The moral victory, though, cannot outshine the fact that Larissa Pacheco is dominating this fight. Heavy kick to the low leg of Marina Moknakina. Jake Paul, last round, what do you expect to see? Yeah, Marina's got to go for it, you know? She's just got to make something happen if she, she wants to get this victory because I think Larissa's probably up on all the scorecards. So if I was her team, I'd be telling her, go wild, just start going, oh. look for something. Ooh, nice. Man. She's got to turn it up if she wants to get oh. The high kick landed, then Marina caught it. Ooh. 
This woman has a granite body. Crazy. Goodness. <laughs> wow. What does it take to get Marina Block knocking her out of there? I mean, she's got a cinder block for her head because I, I don't think there's a whole lot of women in the world that could eat those shots. She's in a good position here. Past the leg, she's trying to set up an arm lock here. One of her best submissions. She's lost it now. Halfway through round number five, Marina Malknakina with her best chance, potentially on top of Larissa Pacheco. Can she pass the guard? Larissa doing a good job defensively off of her back. Now trying to set up a triangle. Let's go, stay busy. Inside of two minutes now, 145 pound women's world championship. Larissa Pacheco finds herself on the bottom here in round five, but the first four rounds belong to her. Can she survive here and win a second straight $1 million championship? I think Pacheco knows she's in the driver's seat here. She doesn't need to take any risks. She unlocks that guard, she might get leg locked. She has to be very careful in this position. Shaco does appear intent to ride this out, protecting herself on the bottom. Credit to Marina Malknotkina staying in this fight for 25 minutes. Yeah, I mean, she showed amazing heart tonight. That's a few chances herself to win this fight. Still fighting. Final 10 seconds of 25 full minutes. A grueling affair in the women's featherweight division. Our experts think that Larissa Pacheco did enough. The official judges' scorecards are with Andy Shepard. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds of action, we go to the judges' scorecards. All three judges score this bout 49 46 for your winner by unanimous decision and 2023 PFL Women's Featherweight Champion, Larissa Pacheco! Dan Hardy is with the champion. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm here with a two division champion, a two division champion. That is incredible. What, a, what an amazing achievement. How are you feeling right now? I can see you're a little emotional. Campeão de duas divisões. Que, que feito incrível. Como é que tá sentindo agora? Bom, agora eu tô feliz. Tô realizada. Foi um ano intenso de trabalho para chegar aqui e me tornar duas vezes campeã da PFL. E primeira campeã em duas categorias diferentes. É, a Marina não é nada do que eu pensei. Ela é muito mais, ela é uma guerreira, aguentou as minhas pancadas mais fortes. Do início ao fim eu coloquei pancadas para derrubar ela eu não consegui. Ela é uma guerreira e é uma campeã também, independente disso daqui. Eu me sinto tão so tão fulfilled. Foi um ano muito longo, um longo processo. Entre o ano passado, o primeiro belt, esse ano, o primeiro campeão de divisão aqui no PFL. 
Marina's a whole lot more tougher than I thought. She's a champion in her own right. She took a lot more punches than I was expecting her to take, and honored to share the cage with her. I'm gonna leave you to go and enjoy this victory and enjoy that second belt that you're adding to your collection. Ladies and gentlemen, Larissa Pacheco.